Today we're going to take a look at both the SQL connector as well as the ODBC connector that's available within Smart Connect. Now this covers a lot of grounds because there's a lot of systems that have a SQL backend and there's a lot of systems that have an ODBC driver that you can leverage when you're running an integration. Let's jump into Smart Connect and take a look. Right now we have the map setup window open and this is where we set up an integration. In this example, we're using an ODBC connection to connect to our Microsoft SQL database. So you can see that we've selected ODBC connection. Um, we're selecting, we're actually connecting to one of our existing SQL databases, but you can set up a custom connection to really any system that has an ODBC driver. We're specifying what data we want to get from this the SQL database and we're using a query to do that. Now if you are not familiar with SQL language you could also use the interface to really specify what data you want to use as your source. In this example we're just using the data from one of the tables um, but notice on the right hand side within this wizard we can really get any of the data from this SQL database. So it's drag and drop to really grab those tables, specify what columns you want to use from those tables as your source. And as we're selecting those, it's building that query for us. Now the other thing I want to point out within this interface is that we also have the ability to use views as well as procedures. So in SQL we can leverage any of our tables, all the views, as well as the procedures. So that's how we use SQL as a source within our integration. Now when we used Microsoft SQL as a destination, we specified that we wanted to use the Microsoft SQL table connector. We specified which instance we wanted to connect to and the authentication details. And then if you want to integrate with more than one database, you do have the ability to do that. So it's as simple as checking a box to specify which databases you want to run your integration for. To summarize what we talked about today, we looked at how you can leverage SQL data uh, as a source and also write to a SQL database as a destination. And really, when we're using SQL as a source, we're using our ODBC connection because you can work with any system that has an ODBC driver. Now, when you're specifying what data you want to use from your SQL instance as a source, you can either use the interface, which is wizard style. Uh, you don't have to be a technical expert uh, to specify what data you want to get from your SQL instance but you can also so you can use that it'll create the query for you as you're using the interface or you can write SQL statements um, and then when you're using SQL keep in mind that you can leverage all your tables all procedures as well as views and then you have the ability to run your integrations with multiple databases so you can actually with our multi data source connector you could use multiple SQL databases as your source you could also uh, write to multiple data sort databases as your destination. We saw that when we looked at Smart Connect. So hopefully you found something interesting in this video today. Um, we'd encourage you to learn more and you can do that by going to trysmartconnect.com. There you can also register for a demo. You can sign up for a 30-day trial. You can take a product tour um, and there's a lot of great information out there. So thanks so much for watching this video and we look forward to talking to you soon. In the meantime, have a great day.